Hey, it's Sam, and I am going to be doing something I haven't done in a long time, which is play around with makeup. And this is going to be mostly makeup products that I got from Timu. Now you'll notice, and I will point it out along the way, that I don't have everything from Timu, uh, but I have enough stuff to make up a makeup look, I feel like, and I'll substitute what I do have uh, for the things that I don't. So let's get started. The first thing is something that is not Timu related. It's the Too Faced uh, Prime, I think it's Primed and Peachy, and it is, it's a small size. And I'm just trying to finish up a lot of the products that I have. And it looks like that. And I'm gonna put that all over. It smells really good. Uh, but I just, you know, I'm just trying to use things up and then the next thing I'm going to use is a foundation that I did get from Timu. Uh, so it is the Snail Collagen CC Cream. And that might be the brand. Twos. I got number two, which is natural. And it's a little life for me. But if I didn't have a slight tan, it would work really well. So it looks like this. It comes with a really big mirror. And you pull this up. If you are into Asian makeup there's a lot of products that look like that that they that's available um, and then it has a really pretty design and I'm gonna use the mushroom brush they call it that comes with it and what I'll do is I'll do one side of my face so you could see the coverage and I feel like it's a medium to you could build it to full And as you can tell, it's definitely way too light, but I'll make it work. I'll put a little bit of bronzer on there or around my face. And I don't, I try to avoid the eye area just because my eyelids are super oily. And it, the more product I put on there, the more buildup it's going to be. This brush actually works pretty well. So that's just one layer and you could see compared to my face to coverage and I'm going to go back in and just kind of go under my eyes and then where there's acne down here so definitely buildable I am looking kind of pale <laughs> And I like this brush because this is how I like to apply foundation. It kind of reminds me of Beauty Blender, but I like to uh, press in and not like rub all around. Okay, okay, so I am done putting on my foundation. Okay, it is. <laughs> I, I just picked the wrong color for right now, but I will fix it. I'll try to fix it. And I just trying to feel, I think it has this foundation, I feel like has, it doesn't finish matte. I feel like it, it gives a little bit of a glow. And then next I'm going to use concealer and I'm using, this is by Softly. This is the box that came in Softly. I got the number medium. And this is Beauty Glaze Full Coverage Concealer, and I can definitely say that it is full coverage. Um, the packaging on this is so pretty. Here is the applicator, and as you can tell, it is very yellow. So just be wary. If you're cool tone, then it probably wouldn't look that great. But And this is the coverage. It has great coverage. I really like this. So I'm gonna put that over here and then down here and then around my nose, which I don't know why I do around my nose because I blow my nose all the time. So it just ends up going away. I did get two brushes. Uh, the first one here is a concealer brush, which I didn't need. I, I think the pictures got me on the website. So I'm just gonna press that in. As you can see, it's very, very yellow. I think the the foundation might be like neutral or cool. I don't know. It just it makes this concealer look super yellow. I mean, it is yellow, but just 
makes it look even more. But the coverage is amazing. And it kind of dries to a powder, which I like when products do that. And normally I don't put it on my eye, but I think I'm going to just drag some. Just because my eyebrows, my eye area is kind of dark since I didn't put a uh, foundation on it. Okay, and then next I'm going to go in with a powder and I'm going to use another brush that I got. It is a foundation. Uh, brush it's so cute it's not as dense as I would like it to be but it's pretty good for powder product I feel like and I don't have a powder uh, that I got from Timu so I'm just using the L'Oreal True Match in W4 and again I like to press it so this powder this brush is great And I like to stipple or press in just so I can get more coverage. And that kind of fixed uh, a little bit the color, the, the foundation color that's a little too light. But I am going to go in with a bronzer. And I don't have a bronzer from Timu, so I'm just using, this is the Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And I'm just going to kind of use all three colors. And just go in and start contouring. Okay, next, okay. Is, next is going to be a blush and I got something that I've been wanting to get since I joined the website uh, joined Timu and this is um, where's the box it is the color bloom liquid blush by young vision and I got the color love cake and again this packaging is so nice. It's beautiful. This is funny though. And I'm going to put just some right here. This is buildable. So I like to start off with a little bit. And I think I'm going to use... No, I'm going to use my fingers for this. It's such a pretty color. And I know in the summertime, a lot of people like to use kind of like cream liquid blushes. And a little bit on my nose. And then we're going to put some highlighter on. And I went a little bit crazy with highlighter. Oh, actually... I was supposed to do this first. Uh, this is the Gigi Bear Crystal Jelly Lip Oil. I really like this. It smells nice. Here's the applicator. The packaging is cute. And I use this in place of, let's say, CarMax, which is usually my go-to. And it does make your lips look really nice. I got the great one. I think the store that I got from, they were selling grape, avocado, and peach. And I decided to go with the, the grape. And I didn't get any other lip products, so this is going to be it. Uh, for highlighter, I'm using, this is the May, I want to say badge, but it looks like Bow. Bow. <laughs> uh, really pretty packaging nice big mirror and this is what the product looks like I'll swatch it on my hand really pretty and I'm gonna use this in the inner corner I'm not sure why I'm starting there but I'm gonna put it right here 
so pretty. You could definitely use this as a highlighter, but I have a couple, so I kind of want to spread the love. And then a little bit on my nose. And then right here. And then the, uh, for the actual highlighter, I'm going to be using, this is a Zhao, Ziao Yumi. Looks like that. And then, so kind of like a champagne-y one. And I'm gonna use a brush. Not, I didn't get this from Timo. going to go in this you know what let me use the contour because I want to do my eyes I'll use the contour kit again just to give me some color in the crease usually I will put a primer on but I forgot to pull it out just to give a little definition there Okay, and then for the eyeshadow color, this is Shaquino. I'm sorry. Uh, this is in the color one, and it looks like this. Again, packaging is great. I have to ask for a refund for this because this actually came out when I opened it. Um, let me show you the color. It's just kind of like pretty like I don't want to say rose gold although I feel like it looks like that but it's more of like an orangey and I just want to show that to you I'm not gonna change my mind I'm not gonna use it I want to use this product that I love um so this is from Jaded and I think it said the color was taro pie but there's actual chunks of glitter in there it's so nice. I would definitely think about getting more colors. And then. It's so pretty. I'm going to put that on my eyes. I'm going to be all highlighted out. But that's okay. And this consistency is kind of like a marshmallow. It's so soft. Okay, and I believe you can use this as a highlighter as well. And then the last uh, kind of highlighty product is also from Jaded. I'm not going to use this, uh, but you mix the two colors. There's that one right there, and then I'll put it at the bottom. And then we're going to move on to eyelashes no nope, eyebrows and I got this product this was I believe in my first order it's the Suwaki uh, eyebrow contouring and they call it that because this of this brush um, I've used this product a couple of times and I just feel like it's not that easy to use um, a lot of product sometimes comes out no product comes out uh, but let me just show you And, then, and also, I think it's a little too... I find a lot of eye brow stuff is more red-toned. And for me, I feel like I need like a cooler tone for my eyebrows. So it does a decent job of filling them in, but I don't know, I just don't love it. I think my favorite is probably an eyebrow pencil 
Well, my favorite is the uni Cosmetics Universal one. So, that's as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> uh, next is going to be mascara, and I got this one uh, previously, but I'm gonna show you another one. Uh, this is the one I'm gonna use. It's another Suaki product. It's the Star Long Curly Mascara, and I believe when I got it, it did say waterproof, but after using this a couple of times, it does not hold my curl, so I am gonna use another product on top of it and there goes stuff on the ground this is not from timu but it is uh an asian product it's dr mascara fixer by etude house and there's fibers in here that attaches to your lashes and holds the curl and um that's unfortunately this mascara just didn't work out so i'm gonna curl these lashes And I might not wear this look out just because it's so highlighty, but this is more just to kind of like play around with the makeup and tell you my first impressions about it. I could probably just wear this by itself as well, this mascara fixer. It holds my curls pretty well. And I'll let that dry for four seconds, although I don't think you have to. Uh, but this brush is amazing. Look how small that is. And I have seen on the, the website uh, people um, who don't have lashes like mine, it holds their curls. So it just, I guess, it just depends. That's okay. And then I don't normally do this, but I'm gonna put a little bit since the brush is so thin, a little bit on the lower corn, a lower lash line. It is very easy to take off this mascara, um, especially if you don't use um, this. This, but even still it's it comes off pretty easily uh, the other mascara that I recently got is this Capu Vini slender and dense mascara set and it comes with a brown and a black and I'm just gonna show you the brush both have the same brushes typical mascara brush and the last thing I'm gonna do is use a setting spray and this one is not my favorite. It's the Elf Stay All Day Blue Light. I think it's like a gimmicky. It's gimmicky. But the mist on here is super fine, which I really, really like. So I'll just spray that. And let that dry. And I'm going to show you uh, one last product. It has to do with my hair. My hair is super oily right now. I apologize. Um, I've been parting it down the middle, but for this, I'm just going to show you on the side here. I just, I'm looking for gray. I thought I would have more gray hair. Oh, this, I'll do it this way. <laughs> Even though I don't normally. Just so you can see it working. Uh, this product is, a. Uh, it covers hair. It's so easy to use because it is a lipstick applicator. And I got the color black. And just so you can see, it covers so easily. A word of warning though, it does transfer. So I wouldn't like be playing with my hair after. But you see, it covered it so well and so quickly. I love this product. Okay. So let me just put my hair back. Oh gosh. <laughs> I never part my hair with this side. Uh, anyway, um, 
this was a lot of fun to play with this makeup. Now, would I wear this look out? I don't know. It might be too highlighty for me. Um, but I have enjoyed using these products. Some of these surprise me in a good way. My Some of my favorites are uh, the concealer. I just love the packaging and also it's full coverage. And another favorite is the hair thing that I just used. This blush. So pretty and... Um, I think it gives a really nice color. The lip product I enjoyed. I think it does make my lips look super juicy. A few, uh, a couple of misses. It's the mascara just because I have to do an extra step to hold my curl. But it does, I mean, I have the fiber on my lashes now. Uh, but by itself, it does it does separate my lashes because the brush is so small. Um, but I wouldn't repurchase it because it doesn't hold my curl. And then the other product, this is okay. Um, I don't think my eyebrows look that bad, but it's just kind of hard to use. Uh, and this brush, not that I need any more brushes, but I enjoyed using this brush for for powder. I think it works really well. I have to, I have yet to try it for foundation. Um, but yeah, here's my finished face. I would go. I mean, I keep on saying I wouldn't go out looking like this, but if I had to, I would. I'm not that mad at it. And let me know what your favorite makeup products, if you've gotten any um, from Timu, what I should avoid. I have still yet to get um, a colored lip product, um, a regular, like, regular blush, not a cream one, um, a waterproof mascara, bronzer, setting spray, eyeshadows I haven't gotten. Um, so I do have a few of those things on my list. Um, but yeah, it's just been kind of fun. I haven't played with makeup in a long time and I do hope you enjoyed this video and kind of got to see how the makeup products from Timu are. I am pretty satisfied and yeah, that's it. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!